Hello and welcome back to another session. Today's session is about stack sets in AWS CloudFormation. In the last session, we discussed about stacks, which is a single unit to manage all your resources defined within a template. It's a very useful thing to maintain and manage your resources in a single place. However, it's constrained to a single region and account. In, if your use case is to have the same infrastructure set up in different regions or even different accounts, then stack sets is your solution. This is a diagram which I took from the AWS website itself, which represents how stack sets are organized. So you identify one admin account where you actually create the stack set and you can have many target accounts where you can create the stacks that are defined in your stack set. So let's get into the console and see how it works. Okay, so we are in the AWS console. Before we create the stack set, we have to do two things. We have to actually create two IAM roles. So one IAM role should be created in the admin account to allow the CloudFormation service to assume the roles in the target account to create the required resources and create another IAM role in the target account to allow the admin account to create the resources. So today we are going to use the same account as the both uh, admin and target account. So let's go ahead and create those IAM roles. You can find the templates of those IAM roles in the AWS documentation here. And it's very important that you use the same name that the AWS documentation suggests because these names are referred in the template. If you're using a different name, then you have to make sure to change it in the template as well. So let's go back to the console and create the stacks. So I have already downloaded both the templates from the AWS documentation into my local. So I'm selecting the files from my local here and giving a stack name as admin account. And we can go with the default stack options. And finally, you have to approve the creation of uh, IAM role. Okay, so while this stack is being created, let's go ahead and create another stack as well, which is the role for the target account. So as we are using the same account as a target account, we will be deploying the other stack as well in this account. So I'm selecting the uh, execution role. And the only additional thing which will be required for the stack is the administration account ID. So if you are doing it in a different target account, then you would specify the admin accounts ID here. So as we are using the same account, I'm grabbing the same account ID and give a stack name. And we can go with the default stack options. Again, this is going to create another IAM role. Okay, so while these two are in progress, Let's go and take a quick look at what's actually inside these two templates. So uh, this is the admin account role. So where you actually allow to assume the role which is defined in the target account. You are allowing the CloudFormation service to assume the role which is defined in the target account. And in the target account, you are actually giving admin access for the admin account ID. In this case, you can even give access to specific resources which you are trying to create through stack sets. And let's review the template for stack set creation itself. So this template is actually going to create an EC2 instance. And it's a simple template which we saw in the last session as well, which creates an EC2 instance taking the image ID from the map, which defines one image per region. And then the instance type, which is defined as a parameter, which is corresponding to the input parameter. 
so it has uh, now let's go back to the console it has created both the roles so now let's go ahead and create the stack set itself so we have to get into the stack sets section it's a separate section not the same one as a stacks and let's create the stack set uh, the template format and everything else remains the same so you have to select the template and a stack set name i'm just going to call it as ec2 vm you can call it as anything you want and then the parameters which is to be passed to the stacks so in this case you can pass only the single parameter value for all the stacks which you are intending to create with a stack set you can't pass different values and this is the permission which allows you to create the stack set itself so as the iam user which i am logged in has has that permission i'm going with the user permission itself and now comes the part where we are selecting the account numbers where you want the stacks to be deployed so in this case it's the same account so i'm just giving the same account number you can enter as many account numbers as you want or you can even upload a csv file and then you have to specify the regions in which you have to deploy your planning to deploy the stack so you can either add all the regions or you can select specific regions i'm just selecting two here for demo purposes uh, which is london and uh, us east and you have you can you have various deployment options uh, which is you uh, you can specify if the uh, deployment has to take place in a concurrent manner and what happens when the deployment fails or what's the failure tolerance and also the region concurrency either you can go with sequential which is one after the other or you can go with parallel so i'm going to do parallel here so both the london and us east regions will get deployed parallelly and these are uh, the options which we selected and let's go ahead and create the stack set so you can see the operations of the stack sets here so this is running and while this is being created let's actually get into the stack section of both the regions that is us east and london so i'm selecting london in one tab and us east in another tab go into the stack section so as you can see the stack is being created here so what the stack set does is it goes and creates the stacks itself in the regions which we specified so this is in london and even here there is a stack which is being created so the stack set creation is complete so now we should be having two stacks in each region sorry one stack in each region and one ec2 instance created in each region so the stack set itself has the two stacks uh, which are being generated as a reference to the two stacks which are generated and if you actually get into the stack section in the each region you can see the resources which are provisioned through that stack so there is an ec2 instance in us east and there is also another ec2 instance in london so this is how stack sets work uh, so it's very useful when you have uh, larger templates which needs to be deployed in various regions you can automate it across all the regions with a single template and also you can automate it across different accounts as well so hope you found it useful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below see you soon in the next video thank you